We ready to go? Am I on? I'm on. This sounds like a small thing, right? But it's not actually that small, whether you're gonna go with hardwired or go with plugs. And this is a big deal because a lot of people are building into kind of initial space and then they're gonna to wanna to scale out of that space into a different space eventually. So um, the issue there is a lot of people just kind of go with this really hardwired um, thing, which is great if you plan to be there for a while. Um, other folks plan, uh, they put in like master lighting controllers or something that they can just plug their lights into directly. And one of the reasons they do that is because if they move out of that space into a different space and they put the original space up for rent or for sale or what have you, Having plugs there is a little bit nicer for the next tenant. They can come in, they just plug their stuff in, and they don't gotta worry about all this crazy wiring, right? So that's something to um, be thinking be thinking about as well. So um, what's the long-term value of the, the service and the wiring? And how do you ask for something that's maybe a little bit more general, a little less specific, uh, but still serves all of your purposes, but is going to be something that you can resell down the road? Buildings, warehouses, these types of things are appreciable assets and they typically appreciate and they're worth more at the end of what you're doing as than they are at the beginning. That is a great, great positive thing about growing inside. So um, thinking about the long-term value of the building, how you protect that, of course, with all of your construction and prep work, but then when you're doing your wiring too, you know, maybe the next guy wants to come in and put in a wood shop or what have you. How do you set everything up so that it's not just working for you, but it's gonna work for the next guy and it's gonna increase the value of your investment?